Okay, so let's go to uh, lecture two uh, or lesson two. Again, this one uh, is supposed to be in a week two, but we go fast forward a little bit so that next week you don't need to worry anything. Just do your individual assignment. Okay. Okay. Um, again, I want to highlight the learning outcomes. So these are the highlighted area that will come out in your final exam, especially MCQ question. All right. So again, uh, uh, this uh, weekly planner is important to help you to uh, pass up the assignment and do the quiz accordingly. All right now for your L2 quiz later, L2, L3 quiz later is two attempt only. Uh. Your first lesson just now is unlimited attempt, but later L2, L3 quiz only two attempt. So if you if you answer wrongly, you can attempt one one more time, and then no more you can no more no longer able to do the quiz anymore. But the If you don't want, then don't want. Then I can just <laughs> release you guys. Huh? Okay. All right. Uh, again, it's offline. It cannot be recorded. Lah, huh? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, now we deal with models. We deal with models. What I need to highlight is that later you will see uh, a lot of shape of uh, models, but they are fundamental shape. They are triangular. They are circle shape. Okay. Uh, okay. So again, there's a video. This video is, uh, I think, six minutes or four minutes. Again, I'm not going to play this video in the class. So watch this video uh, next week. Uh, okay, because next week we don't have class. Answer all these questions when you watch the video. Uh, I will summarize for you in another two more slides. Okay. Um, this one question later will come out and ask you about this video, but again, I will help you. What does this video doing is that natural disaster happened somewhere in the Philippines, and Asia go in and help and build the school. So again, the corporation, what the corporation do to the society or community here, the community here is what they do is that they build school. School is education. So later when you see the quiz answer related to Asia, what they do, they do, on the education uh, element, right? Okay, again, watch this video. This is about nine minutes. So again, we're not going to watch video for nine minutes in a class. Again, watch this video next week. Uh, because next week you don't have class. Or after that class, lah, if you want, All right? Okay, now I'm going to summarize these two videos. Again, we're going to look at two questions, corporate dimension and community dimension. So the first video is about Tesco. The corporation name is called Tesco. So what they do, they raise funds for needy families. And what is the so society component? This tes Tesco, they help the needy children who need to pay for the high bill, hospital bill, especially those need to do chemotherapy. Uh, okay, so again, corporation component is Tesco. Community component is the needy family. What is the need they do? They supply funding and then they help on the medical needs so that they have peace of mind. Okay. Second one, A Asia. Entity, the corporation entity is A Asia. What they do, they rebuild the infrastructure. So they're going to build the children by building the school. So it's under education dimension. Okay, again, corporation and the community uh, dimension. This one is related, this page uh, is related to your individual assignment later. Uh. So you need to go and find those famous company. Those company that in my slide, you cannot recycle. Uh. You cannot use, for example, you can no longer use Tesco and Asia in your individual assignment. If you use this one, you'll score below half. I'll give below half of the full marks. Because 
if you use back the slide, means this student do not think, uh, do not think. Uh, okay, uh, so it means it do not show your understandings. You just copy and put in your assignment. So you get very low marks in your individual assignment. Okay, so go later next week or uh, you go and find a big company. If the company have bigger size, then bigger for you because more information you can uh, find, especially those big one. They will have a special department or special website for their CSR program. Okay. Again, uh, those example that given in the slide, you cannot use. Uh, you use other. There are lots of option there. And you can choose, no, you, you're not limited to Malaysia company. You can choose international company. Uh, okay. So, Definition of CSR, they will do to the parts of what now? Just now we mentioned com uh, uh, cooperation. Community part, it will extend to three more points. Community part is society, environment, and stakeholders or customers. Okay, again, this diagram you're very familiar just now in the previous class, right? Lecture one, these four points, you elaborate in your group assignment by using this diagram what they do on the employees, uh, environment, society, and the users. We elaborate based on these four points. Okay, now we go into the, the keyword why CSR. Again, why CSR? CSR is a corporate doing responsibility to the community voluntarily. So there's a responsibility there, but they, if you say about business entity, they must give benefit to the company. So what is the benefit? Long-term gain here, in short word, is the branding. You want to build your brand. I summarized everything already. Huh? Means you hold on to the keyword branding. Okay, so first you build the brand, the, the, the CSR, what CSR can bring uh, is that they, if you do CSR and you have a, and you expose yourself, you help the community, you become the preferred choice of the customers. Uh, so for example, in the first lesson, I give you one brand with the children with the ball in his hand. That one, you give a bad example. Lah. So if you, your company do a very good CSR initiative, then you will beat your brand. You're going to sell more because you are preferred choice of customers you become a brand, preferred brand, okay? Uh, so most of you, your business uh, background, so uh, should be very easy to absorb. Second one, branding also linked to, just elaborate, uh, branding also built on the image of the organization. So um, once you build the image on the so social media, then people are spread around, oh, this is a very good company, they do good things for good people. Then you're going to attract what? attract employees or good talent to join your companies. For example, Google. So why Google managed to, uh, to, to recruit a lot of IT experts inside there? Because they do a lot of CSR. Again, CSR, it can do with the employee benefit. Google have a very comfortable office and a work culture. So this good CSR actually attract good talent. So this, uh, you create a happy workforce. Uh, so HR department is very happy. No need to worry. Uh, only worry is that you need to filter all the thousands of CV because the, the application is too, too many. Okay. Branding, employees. The third one is society. Society, again, is still roll back to the branding uh, point where the stakeholders Develop a positive feeling for the brand, which take initiative to, means you're going to educate the society and influence the society to make a decision, let's join this company, do the good things. Uh, so you're going to create a community with a good sense, or we need to help the lady to initiate the, the CSR program in a community. So you're going to help the needy component. These are all the examples, poor children, uh, greener technology, greener environment, bringing electricity, and so on. You're going to see all these activities in the company annual report, especially CSR website of the companies. Uh, there are lots of uh, 
milestone that we reach. Uh, so these are all the example. OK, so again, um, at the end, because corporation, they are business entity, they look, they look for profit. So at the end, in the long run, uh, gain or benefit is that they generate revenue, means they bring in money. Okay. At the end, they still talk about money. You have a good branding. Branding will help you bring in more customers. Customer buy your things. You get more profit by selling your products because of good brandings. Okay. So these are example equals. So equals you cannot use already in your assignment or group projects. So equals they have this uh, Anana Malaysia. We promote nationalism. I love the country more and so on. Huh? So Ecovos, uh, had their loss of uh, CSR program. They, they give scholarship to the needy family and so on. And just a, another promotion for Ecovos. Our INTI recognized the contribution of this uh, Ecovos Foundation uh, High Management, Tan Sri Liu Ki Sin, right? to recognize his uh, contribution to the communities. Right? All right. Next, we go to another popular topic in a CSR exam or um, final exam or quiz. It's called triple bottom line. This diagram, um, I will summarize in three alphabet. The three P, you see, people, uh, people, profit, planet. You remember these three words and go and find these three words in MCQ question. Anything it can change to another word, lah, huh? but people is related to uh, uh, to human employees and so on. Profit means money. Uh, anything that related to profit also that meaning. Then planet, planet is the environment. Go green, do good things and so on. So in your report, group report later or individual report later. This diagram will help you to elaborate what is what have done by the company to the communities. Okay, so let's use this diagram to help you to elaborate. Three, uh, triple bottom line, you memorize as three P, people, planet, and profit. These three keyword. The rest you elaborate. Okay. Um, this is the video you watch also. Uh, basically, it conclude the diagram just now. Okay, so pe people profit planet. It means this video. Uh, I just summarize. It means that how customer decide a supplier for them to use. Like when you bid for projects. Okay, let's say the the government want to bid for uh, a a high tech park there. So um, the 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 suppliers or the contractor put in the proposal, put in the three element people, planet, and profit inside the proposal, then they choose the suppliers. Uh, that, that is what this video means. Huh? Okay, again, you can watch this video uh, after the class. Huh? Okay. So um, this diagram also uh, important for your final exam. So it's talk about sustainability. Sustainability's effort can be in this area, one, two, three, four, five, six. It can be environment, health and safety, energy management, carbon footprint, operation, risk management, product, and reporting. So reporting one, normally uh, 20 years ago, people like to print all the hard copies, but now today all become e-copies, for example. Right? So we just uh, go through this diagram and uh, just elaborate. Uh, and look for all these keywords when it comes to MCQ question, true or false, for example. Okay. okay, this one you read again. Why corporate do CSR? Because they want to bring in revenue. How they bring in revenue? They want to build the branding. With branding, people are going to have good image. Good image, people buy the product. More customer buy, bring in more revenue. So 
There's another diagram that you see in other textbooks, but similar meaning. For example, people. Some textbooks will use social or some annual report they will see, they will use social to mean people. Environment also mean planet. Economy also mean profit. Ah. Okay, so when you do true or false question, when you do MCQ question, uh, especially you mentioned triple bottom line, remember the three P, people, planet, profit, and then you use the this 3P to, elect, to see which question that have this element. Uh, it, it, you can use, uh, the question can use other wording for people, planet, and profit. Okay? Yeah. So the rest you read. Lah, huh? People, for example, you're able to trace the sources, the process to the customers. Um, you do risk management to the consumer and so on means the supply chain, right? The supply chain, you have, uh, you can take care of the customers. Okay, quiz, later we do. Okay, so we do, uh, let's see. Okay, then we go to stakeholders. Okay, stakeholders. Again, what is stakeholders? So this one you read lah. So they are, they are different uh, use in the report or in the company report. Sometimes CSR, they also mean corporate responsibility, sustainability, development, and so on. Okay. Uh, so there's an article inside Canvas. You can click inside and go and read. Lah. read. Okay, now we learn about shape of the models. It's important and also popular uh, for your final exam. and. Uh, Quiz later. Okay, so uh, before we go into the shape, there are four elements inside this model. It doesn't change much. First one is philanthropic responsibility. Philanthropic is more on the corporate or business or entrepreneurship. Second, you follow by ethical. The third one, legal. The last one is economics. So later we talk about models. These four elements do not run away. They still stay within the models, philanthropic, ethical, legal, and economics. Okay, these four elements, only the size will change. Right, so the elaboration is on the side of the diagram. First model, triangular. Triangular, we link with the word pyramid. Tarot pyramid with the triangular, what does it mean? I mean the the content inside the pyramid is still the same, huh? like the one that I mentioned, philanthropic, ethical, legal, and economic. What mean by this triangular? You look at the size of the color. If at the bottom have a bigger size, it means the company give priority to the economic dimension and give lower priority to legal. Uh, if you compare ethical and legal, Legal will give priority first compared to ethical. And ethical will compare, you'll, you'll have a better priority compared to the uh, this uh, philanthropic uh, dimension. Okay, so this is a pyramid meaning. The bigger size you have means you, the company give the priority to that dimension. For example, for example, uh, for example, in the economic downturn, or during COVID time, two years lockdown, the company will focus on getting money or profit. Uh, so um, they will give priority to the economic and some company, they, they don't care, they break the rules to get money. They give priority to the economics, they don't care about the regulation, they don't care about ethical, they don't care about uh, the philanthropic. That's why scammer, go in uh, during the COVID times. Uh, okay, if uh, you have watched a lot of the war movie, then this character, he lived the life of uh, Carol Pyramid. He think about money only. Uh, but this uh, character it sell, means he sell weapon. Uh. Uh, a very interesting movie. If you haven't watched, you can go and watch. Uh. Okay. Um, 
Okay, first, first, uh, first uh, shape is a triangular or pyramid. Second one is circle, but this circle is like Tai Chi Yin and Yang. Uh, it's an intersecting means every element they are intersecting with each other. We have four four element there, but they are intersecting. What is the what is the difference between the pyramid and this one? This one is like a flat. Uh, first one got authority one means you have a priority. First you do what, second you do what. This one, every element is the same. Same important. Okay. So if the company use the model of this one, uh, the manager is very easy to make decision one. All department very important. Ethical very important. Legal very important. All this, huh? So uh, one. Uh, so this one, uh, because of the shape, you can uh, elaborate as an interrelationship between the four elements, and it reject hierarchical order compared to the pyramid one. Means you don't need to follow. You do what? Huh? First one, pyramid one, it give priority to the economy, but this one, everything is important. Okay. Um, one bad thing, if the company use this one, the manager will have low accountability because the manager might lost in decision making because everything is important. He don't know which one need to give first. Uh, and then he might delay the decision when to need to launch the CSR because everything is important. Ma. So he might consider a lot of things, then only make decisions. The third one is concentric, also circle, but this one like a pizza, right? The green circle is a bigger size, and then you put on top of the green green pizza, you put in the orange one. Then you put on a uh, red color on the orange. Then you put on the blue, blue, blue layer on the red color layer. Okay, so this one is a concentric. What does it mean by this relationship? It means it's an inclusion of relationship. I give you this statement. Every member in the inner circle also member of the wider circle, but not vice versa. What does it mean? It means the green color, uh, sorry, the blue color, the blue color, economic one, have a legal responsibility to consider the legal ethical aspect. However, the green color one, they don't consider the blue color aspect. Yeah, it works from in to out and not outside to inside. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Okay. So this one you read, huh? This one you read. Okay. Concentric one. Uh, later you we learn about Malaysia and other international CSR. So concentric one normally it will happen in the they they divide the whole world into developing country and the developed country and. Uh, developed country. So normally you will see those strong country or developed country helping those undeveloped country. And they name the process of helping as CSR. Okay. So we have three types of shape, uh, pyramid, circle, circle, intersecting and concentric. Okay. Now, most of the company, they adopt the first one because first one, they have hierarchy, they have priority, and more easier to make decision. Okay. So here, this three circle also help you to when you do your group report later, huh? group projects. So uh, discuss about the type of the CSR model inside the report. Okay. Stakeholders, there's one question asked about this person. Freeman, Freeman, it give definition to stakeholders. I highlight the definition. Anyone that can affect and are affected means the company. The company is can affect. The community is affected. Means that can affect and affected. Huh? So later the quiz question asks you what Freeman define stakeholders. So you look for the keyword can affect and are affected these two keywords. Okay. Then in your business, you will took uh, you will you will discuss a lot of time about stakeholders. 
So we have two type of stakeholders, primary and secondary. Primary, you look at the corporate, anything that related to the corporate is a primary. Anything that outside the corporate is secondary. I'll give you one simplified diagram. This is organization. Primary stakeholders are the customers, employees, supplier, board of director, owners, shareholders of the companies. It's like anything deal with the business, supply chain, and so on. They are the primary shareholders. What are the secondary shareholders? That is social media, government agency, um, trade unions that not directly deal with the business. Okay, so also there's one question asked about this one later in quiz and also final exam. Okay, then further reading, I uh, go to read this one, uh, three models of uh, corporate responsibility. Uh, you can go and click the link in the canvas. Go ahead and read this one. Huh? Okay, summary. Okay, individual, individual assignment. I'm going to give you uh, on a briefing on the individual assignment. Um, this individual assignment due week four. Uh, due week four, where we do not have any meeting. Uh, so I would still remind you on week three, but you still have uh, one more week when we come to week three. You need to submit in week four. Uh, of course, later when I stop the recording, I'll give you one example. What are the good? What are the bad? Okay, so what you need to do? You need to go and go to YouTube, look for CSR, especially those big company. You can type in any name of the company. So and so, for example, Coca-Cola, CSR. Then there are lots of video come up. Pick that one and then discuss about the area. Any and choose one. Huh? Inside the video, choose the video that help you to pick any of this. The video of the CSR must related to any one of these, any one, one only. Uh, you don't need to cover. Uh, cover all also good, but minimum one. Okay, Economic development, sound employment practice, workplace safety, environment. Uh, this one, if you choose Petronas, then this one a lot. Uh, or if you choose uh, those ExxonMobil, those uh, petroleum company or shipping company, uh, this one a lot. Uh. I'll give you hints already. Uh. Uh, so customer safety, ca ca company liability, uh, ethic in marketing and company. Uh, this one normally uh, those uh, sportwear um, company and so on. Uh. So pick the video, you key in YouTube, CSR, and then the company name that you want to do. Then you watch the video and then uh, this is individual. Uh. You pick one and then you see whether you can hear anything related to economy, employment. Uh, customer safety or ethic. Okay. Um, okay, I'll search one video and then the role of CSR in the area. Take above here. Okay, then you answer in your essay. Um, minimum 150, maximum 180 words. Some, some students ask me, sir, can I do more than 180? Can, can, but not less than 150. Uh, the, 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 the guideline is uh, if you do more than one page of essay means you do too much already. One page of A4 paper, uh, both size 12 or 11. One page, if you do more than one page essay, it means you do too much already. That means too, uh, over already, lah, but it won't affect your marking. Huh? But not too much. If your essay less than half pages, then means you have less point to discuss. So we answer this question. Introduction. Why do you select this, this video? There must be a reason why you, of course, how you go ring this one. You use the, the photo that I say just now. You can use triple line, the three P. You can use the, the, the four element just now to discuss. Uh, then content, what area of development targeted? So just now I show you the five element or six element, that one. I like, uh, pick one. Then content, what role of the CSR program initiate play? So you answer this one. 
Reflection, uh, this one is your time to go ring. Uh, what would you do differently if you are the head of the initiative? So let's say the, the Asia company, they go into disaster area, they build school. So you as a head of CSR of uh, Asia, what can you do differently besides building school? Okay. You need to consider the financial con condition of the company. If the company is doing something related to, uh, to sportwear and all this, you don't do something delayed, uh, contradict to the business. Uh. Uh, so for example, uh, you choose Adidas. Uh, and then you, you say something that you recommend uh, 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 do something about uh, animals and all this. So it's not related. It must be related to the, the business model of that company. Okay, yeah? so answer these four questions. Um, maximum one pages of essay, minimum half pages. It must be more than half pages. Huh? Half and a little bit more, then you are okay. All right. Um, Source from reputable source here. What does it mean? Don't use don't use those YouTuber video. Huh? Uh, don't go and choose those YouTuber video uh, or star any uh, popular star video. Go for the corporate video, corporate company. Okay. Um, make it clear and direct. Don't pushing pushing. Ah, uh, your karangan. Uh, your essay. Don't pushing pushing. Ah. Uh, uh, and uh, actually, I'm, I'm not really care about your grammar. Uh, you can use simple English. Uh, use me. Uh, and again, in your essay, try to avoid using first person, um, first person, we call the verb. Don't use I, don't use we, don't use uh, they, uh, they can. Uh, don't use I, we. Then, then how? Use passive form. Like for example, uh, flower was used to what? Don't use I buy flower. Uh, don't use I. Use verb and then description. Uh, okay, uh, something like that. Use uh, the the uh, okay the structures of that. Again, due date is week four. Reminder will send many many times after this week. So pass up by week four, Sunday. 11.59 uh, p.m. Okay, if you pass up on the next day, then zero marks. Huh? Yeah, I need to highlight this one. Convert, uh, submit in the MS Word in Canvas by lesson four. Why MS Word? Because I want to check your word. I'll be using Turnitin software to check your word. So if you use GPT, you use AI bot to help you to type your essay, you're going to get detected and you get very low marks. Okay, this is 20 marks. You get detected, you are using chat GPT to help you to do, you get below 10 marks. Turn it in, will tell me. I know they. Okay, let me explain ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a program. Program, it will show some patterns of how the ChatGPT do things. So if you use ChatGPT, we can cross check how ChatGPT works. Right? Even though it rephrased, but that is how ChatGPT do works. So there's a certain, certain way of ChatGPT do. Even though you use uh, AI rephrasing, AI bot, uh, turn it in will tell me which software you use, which website you go and you try to rephrase it. Okay, so turn it in is actually quite very powerful now, now today. So they also catch up with the technology. So again, uh, half pages of essay, very easy for you guys, a uh, piece of cake. Lah. So just read or listen to the video and then use the, the diagram that I show you just now. Explain based on what you understand. Okay. Uh, don't use uh, JetGPT. Uh. Okay. I'll have you on quiz. I'll stop the recording.